Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the process of photosynthesis. Plants can use energy from the sunlight and water and carbon dioxide and they can convert that into sugar, glucose. So they have the ability to make their own food. Now, whether those plants are on land or uh, aquatic plants, so they live underwater, they are still going to have the ability to make their own food. Even there are some bacteria that are actually known to be photosynthetic because they are also able to make their own food. Organisms that are able to make their own food, we refer to them as autotrophs. For photosynthesis to take place, um, a plant, for example, would need the following. It would need some carbon dioxide from the air. It would need water uh, from, it will get it from um, the ground, to the soil. Uh, it would also need some energy from light. And the products are going to be glucose. That's the main product that the plants are making, their own food, the glucose. And then a byproduct would be oxygen that's going to be released in the air. So that's the equation for photosynthesis. Uh, the reactants are carbon dioxide, water, some energy from light, and the products would be glucose and oxygen. Now, photosynthesis takes place within organelles known as chloroplasts, which are um, mostly located in the leaves of a plant. So we're going to zoom in later on on those chloroplasts and take a good look at them and see what's inside of them. Let's take a closer look at those chloroplasts found inside of the plant's leaves. This is how one chloroplast look like. This chloroplast right here, if we go ahead and open it up, we would find fluid. So there is thick fluid inside of the chloroplast and that thick fluid is known as the stroma. Now inside of the chloroplasts, you see those green disc-like disc -like structures and those are, uh, each one of them is known as a thylakoid. So each one of those discs, uh, it's known as a thylakoid. And you would notice that those thylakoids are stacked up on each other. And so each stack is known as a granum. So a granum is a stack of those thylakoids. Several stacks, because as you can see, there are several stacks. Several stacks would uh, be called as grana. So grana is the plural of granum, which is one stack. Grana are several stacks. Um, why do we have to know the thylakoids and the stroma? Because these are where the process of photosynthesis would take place. Also, if we look at one thylakoid, so one of those discs right here, and we zoom in on it, we would notice that on the thylakoid, there are those green uh, circular uh, dots right here, if you can see them, and those are chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment. Um, that's why when you look at uh, plants and their leaves, most of the time we see them as green because they contain that green pigment known as chlorophyll. The green pigment chlorophyll uh, the reason why we see it as green, because the green light is going to be reflected. So when the light hits the chlorophyll, some light is going to be absorbed and some light is going to be reflected. The light that's going to be reflected is the color that we're going to see. And so it's the green color that's going to be reflected. All the other colors of the light, like the reds and the blues and the yellows, those are going to be absorbed by the green pigment chlorophyll. Now for plants to go through the process of photosynthesis, as we said, the plant would need to absorb carbon dioxide from the air and a byproduct that plants would release in the air would be oxygen. So you might be wondering, how is the plant going to absorb 
that carbon dioxide and how is it releasing the oxygen in the air? And the answer is that on the surface of the leaves, there are tiny pores. You can't really see them with the naked eye and those pores are known as stomata. So stomata is the plural. Uh, one pore is known as a stoma. And so these stomata, those pores, um, have the ability to open and close. And so when they open, uh, carbon dioxide is going to enter into the stomata and uh, oxygen is going to be released. So the CO2 uh, is going to be able to enter and the oxygen is going to be able to get released in the air.